Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25987. This build has a few improvements and also fixes for the Canary channel, and in this video, we're gonna try to cover them all. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by CDKs.top. CDKs is a platform where you can get Windows and Office licenses at a very good price. On this platform, you can get Windows 10 Pro licenses at the very good price of just $14 and the Windows 11 Pro license at just $19 when you use the coupon code from the description. Office licenses also have a good price and when using the coupon code, you get an even better price. Check out the great deals from CDKs.top in the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon code. Thank you to CDKs.top for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is testing some new things inside the OOB section of the installation process and when you need to connect to a network and there's no Wi-Fi drivers, you'll be given an option to press an install drivers button to install drivers you have previously downloaded. You'll see this change using the ISO for build 25977 and higher. Also starting with this build, the Windows maps and movies and TV apps will no longer be installed after doing a clean install of the OS. The Windows maps and movies and TV apps will not be removed on upgrade for insiders of the Canary channel and continue to be available and updated via the Microsoft Store. Inside the Settings app and then Windows Update, then Advanced Options and Delivery Optimization, Microsoft updated this page to match the Windows 11 design principles and you'll be able to see that when you go to Advanced Options such as other graphs and sliders and also on the Activity Monitor as well. And I think it's looking pretty good. Regarding the File Explorer, PNG files now support viewing and editing metadata. For example, if you'd like to set a store rating and properties, edit the description or add keywords. We also have a fix for a known issue they fix an issue causing File Explorer to crash in Windows Sandbox when using a non-English display language. We also have a Microsoft Store update and of course you can just open up the Microsoft Store, go into library and then click on get updates to get all the updates also for the Microsoft Store. But basically, you'll now be able to customize the install location of your games. When downloading games like Starfield, Hollow Infinite or Forza Motorsport, you'll now be able to specify the installation drive. So to test this out, I'm just gonna go and search for Minecraft, then go to Minecraft Launcher and then scroll Scroll down and click on install. You'll notice that Microsoft will tell you this will install this game to a new folder in this location and then you can select the location of course or you can change defaults and settings and it will automatically open the Microsoft Store settings where you can change the default drives or folders where you want games to be installed and I think that is a great update. We also have some known issues in this build of course a reminder some popular games may not work correctly on the most recent insider preview builds in the Canary channel. Also there are blank options showing on the personalization and privacy and security settings pages where if clicked on crash settings. Microsoft is also investigating reports that attempting to reboot into safe mode hangs on the boot logo. Basically, this is the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. This is Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.